Welcome to this episode of Poor Talk. I'm your host, Ben Bloomley. Today, we're gonna be talking about buying that first rental property to obtain that passive income that you've always wanted. Now, first and foremost, I have a lot of clients that are looking to purchase that rental property and they always kind of have that, that connotation that, that they need to have cash, that they need to buy it just with all cash. Well, let me tell you first that I don't want you to buy those properties in all cash. In fact, I want you to leverage your money. I want you to obtain a loan for your purchase. By doing that, it's gonna do two things. It's gonna increase your rate of return on your actual money. And then secondly, it's gonna allow you to keep more money in your pockets to potentially buy more rental properties after you get that first one in the books. Now, once you find that first rental property that you want, you've got all the numbers, it all looks great, you got the offer in, I want you to follow my 50-50 rule. What the 50-50 rule is, is that once you're looking and you run your numbers, if you look at the taxes, the insurance, the mortgage payment, potential management fees, you have that number, you've got it all calculated up, I want you to have and, and calculate out your rental amount to be at least double than what your outgoing expenses are. So simple math, if your taxes, mortgage, insurance, management fees, $500, I want you to find a property that your rental income is gonna be at least at a minimum of $1,000. Main reason is that over time, the taxes and insurance, maybe management fee, it's inevitable, it's gonna go up. So over the course that you pay and down that 30 year note, 15 year note on that uh, investment property, you know, your expenses are gonna go up. But I want over time to have enough gap in between that 50-50 that you're always obtaining positive cash flow. So if you have any questions in regards to where or how to even start to buy that investment property or any other questions regarding um, investments just in, in general, know that you can always email us at porttalk at seaportrealestate.com and we'll see you next time.